Hello friends subscribe to our channel GDC and press the bell icon for more updates. Hello pharma aspirants welcome to GDC channel. Let's discuss about the test for carbohydrates. First test is Molish test. Molish reagent is alpha naphthol and concentrated H2SO4. Observation is purple red ring at junction of two liquids purple red ring at junction of two liquids is the observation for molish test interference is it is performed for all carbohydrates and molish test is the identification test for carbohydrates second test is bandict test bandict reagent contains copper sulfate plus sodium carbonate and sodium citrate and it is boiled for two minutes this is the benzoic reagent composition copper sulfate sodium bicarbonate plus sodium citrate boiled for two minutes observation from this test is orange red or brick red precipitate brick red precipitate interference is that bantic test is done for identification of reducing sugars next test is felling test in this it consists of felling reagent a plus felling reagent b which is boiled for Two minutes. Phalanx solution A plus phalanx solution B boiled for two minutes. A yellow or red precipitate is observed. Yellow or red precipitate is observed. Also, it is the test for identification of reducing sugars fourth test is tomers test in this tomers reagent is used tomers reagent is used and boiled for 2 minutes observation is that a yellow or red color precipitate is formed yellow or red color precipitate is formed tomers test is also test for reducing sugars barford test in this neutral copper acetate in acetic acid copper acetate in acetic acid use is used acetic acid is used and boiled in a water bath red precipitate is observed 
red precipitate is observed at bottom of the test tube bottom of test tube barfor test is performed to distinguish between distinguish between monosaccharides and disaccharides between a monosaccharide and a disaccharide and disaccharide this is the identification test for mono and disaccharides barfor test red precipitate is observed next test is salivanoff test in this resorcinol is used resorcinol is used in hcl in hcl red color complex is obtained red color complex is obtained in salivanoff test and it is the test for the distinguish between aldose and ketose aldose and ketose another test for carbohydrate is osa jhone test in this phenyl hydrogen phenyl hydrazine is used with sodium acetate sodium acetate having acetic acid and water and heated for 20 minutes this was the composition of osa jhone test now the observation this reagent or particular composition is used for different types of test such as test for glucose fructose and mannose another test is for lactose test for lactose and last for maltose test for maltose now the observations when this test is performed for glucose fructose or mannose then greenish yellow greenish yellow needle yellow needle or broomstick 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 shape crystals are formed in glucose fructose or mannose greenish yellow needle or broomstick shape crystals are formed which will look like this crystals like needle and broomsticks in lactose pin cushions with pins 
और हेड हॉग क्रिस्टल्स लाइक बॉल ऑफ प्रिकल्स एपियर्स बॉल ऑफ प्रिकल्स एपियर इन केस ऑफ लैक्टोज बॉल ऑफ प्रिकल्स लुक लाइक दिस नेक्स्ट फॉर माल्टोज सनफ्लावर प्लेट लाइक सनफ्लावर प्लेट लाइक क्रिस्टल्स एपियर फॉर द टेस्ट ऑफ माल्टोज दिस वर द ओसाजोन टेस्ट लास्ट टेस्ट इज आयोडीन टेस्ट इन आयोडीन टेस्ट सस्पेंसन ऑफ सस्पेंसन और वी कुड ऑल्सो यूज सॉल्यूशन देयर फॉर इन आयोडीन टेस्ट सस्पेंसन और सॉल्यूशन ऑफ पॉलीसेक्राइड्स इज प्रिपेयर्ड इन विच वन टू टू ड्रॉप्स वन टू टू ड्रॉप्स ऑफ आयोडीन इज एडिड दिस टेस्ट इज यूज फॉर स्टार्च एज वेल एज ग्लाइकोजन फॉर स्टार्च एंड ग्लाइकोजन वेन इन आयोडीन टेस्ट अ डीप ब्लू कलर इज ऑप्टेंट it indicates that sample contains starch whereas when a brown wine color is obtained in iodine test it means that the sample contains glycogen this was the iodine test in starch it gives deep blue color and in glycogen it gives brown or wine color that's all for this video thank you for watching this video